so so what's up guys how you all doing so today let's talk about how to calculate peeps as a beginner all right so how to calculate your peeps as a beginner so uh, guys make sure you guys like and subscribe and for more content like this and um, uh, all my all my links are free you can join them and uh, learn all right so um guys quickly let's look at um that being said let's dive right into the video so let's look at how you can calculate peeps as a beginner all right so um Quickly, quickly, I will always encourage you to use Trading View. It's um, it's just best for you to use Trading View. It has everything you need. You can also use it on your phone. So even though you don't have a laptop or you, your laptop is not close to you, you can always use your phone. And whatever I'm doing here, you can always interpret from your phone, your mobile phone. So make sure you download the Trading View app. So guys, um, quickly. And one thing you guys need to know is that uh, prices are different. So you can see this is XAUUS. This is gold price. You can see this is um, this is nineteen twenty. That's there are four um, digits before the decimal point. Same thing applies to BTC. Same thing applies to Nasdaq or US thirty. But as for USDJPY, it's quite different. It's three digits first, then three digits after the decimal decimal point. So um, I'm going to stress that very soon and show you guys why. That's because every trade, every currency has a value. And that value, there's what we measure it by price in parity. That is price in parity. That means um, um, for each price, there's a value attached to it. So now I'm going to show you guys how that works. So let's assume we are buying gold. So that's the reason why. That's the reason why. Let me digress a bit. So that's the reason why when you place a 0 0.01 on gold, it gives you more money than any other pair. That's because good value is pretty high. Same thing applies to Bitcoin also. So guys, now let's look at this carefully. So now this is how I make analysis. This is always a make analysis, my risk management. If you're, part of, if you're one of my if students, you should understand my risk management very well. You can see how lovely it is. So this is what I'm going to put, put in my stop loss area. So this red point is my stop loss area. That means anything and this point between the red and green is my entry point so anything below this i'm in loss anything above this i'm in profit so my loss is always small my profit always higher than this and if you check the blue side the red side you can see it says 58 percent i can't click the button you can see it's 58 percent but if you check the uh the green side which is in profit which is the profit area it says 2.71 percent that shows you when I place trade and it goes in my favor, I'm going to be making 2.71% of the current price of gold. And um, if I lose, I'll be losing this. So, but my um, lot size matters. Someone who is using 0 0.10 lot size is, is going to make more money than someone who uses 0 0.01 lot size, right? So your lot size is the amount you're willing to risk. But how do you measure that? How do you know each amount you're willing to risk per trade, per every stop loss and TP I give? Or by every stop loss I give, how do you know that? That's what we're about to analyze right here. So that means we're going to call in this soldier boy price range. It's there on your mobile phone, also. So now we're going to measure this from our entry point to this point. All right. So most times, from our entry point to the stop loss area. So most times, if you're doing this, I'll just say maybe if you're new to the to the to the trade, let's say you're always trading. Um, let's say you're always trading gold, but now I give it a BTC position. Don't just jump in with the same mentality of gold. Let's say you're always using 0.1 on gold. Don't just don't jump into that same mentality. Go lower first. Then calculate the amount you're about to lose. So you can just go lower to 0 0.05, first of all. And when the trade opens, you can now calculate the amount you are willing to lose. So now, right here, you can see the sign. It says 1,015 or 10.15. Let's just go for 1,015. I love to go for this particular one without the decimal point. So let's just go for 1015 now times whatever lot size you're using so let's say you're using um, 0 0.1 lot size right so that's 0 0.10 lot size so this is it guys so let's go so zero okay now let's not start with zero actually so let's go with 1015 1015 all right that's our price times our lot size all right so our lot size is 0 0.1 equal to this is what you're going to be losing if you use if you use 0 0.1 lot size you're going to be losing 
hundred dollars now is your account up to hundred dollars no if it's if it's more than hundred dollars are you willing to lose this hundred dollars for this big push then why not why not now if hundred dollars is too is too big for you to lose per this trade reduce your lot size all right so reduce your lot size from that 0 0.1 reduce that lot size to um to 0 0.02 0 0.03 until it is what you can manage that's the reason why i say if you are not used to a particular currency's lot size and you're entering it for the first time make sure you go very low make sure you use a very small lot size so you don't make huge mistakes all right so now um let's now calculate the upper side but for me hundred dollars is what i usually lose on a good day on every particular trade so i can earn more so now let's go for the big side so the big size says now i'm going to take this for my entry point and push it above push it above to my tp area which is 4922 so i'm going to come here and click on 4000 uh oh 4922 all right times times zero times zero point one equal to boom i'm going to be making 492 dollars for that trade if it goes in profit so am i okay risking hundred dollars to make 492 dollars yes i'm okay if i'm not okay i reduce my lot if i don't like it i don't take the trade if i think it's too small i don't take the trade because it is not what you want to make it is what your analysis permits you to make so this is where my analysis if i'm buying from here to this place because there's a red there's a there's a resistance level here and also there's a trend line level here so this is what my analysis permits me to make on a good day we can see this which is going to be like thirteen thousand six hundred. let's do that quickly that is if i'm willing to hold for a long time so let's say uh, this is thirteen thousand let's just say thirteen thousand times zero point one that's going to be giving me one thousand three hundred dollars so if if this is too small if i'm going to if, if i want to risk more i can decide to place more lot size if i want to this way you're not going to be crying like a cry baby whenever you lose money in fx because you're deciding what you want to lose if your account is small ten dollar per trade this is how you calculate it and know what you are losing so now quickly this is just seven minutes on the clock i don't want this video to be long and boring same thing applies to your um, um your usd jpy so if you use the same principle this is the same principle you use for usd jpy but all you just have to do is to make sense out of what you have to make sense out of the lot size you use when i say to make sense out of it the digits usd jpy is going to be giving you is going to be quite different so let's 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 look at this let's quickly look at this so i'm going to take my price range quickly price range where are you so quickly i'm going to take my price range and let's say i'm going to be buying from here oh no the stop loss is going to be from here to here sorry guys price range is refusing to show up but guys you understand my point trying to make sense out of this it's already eight minutes on the clock so thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this bye